Thank you, Steve. A briefing was held today at the State House on the proposed budget bill. Among the things that have been under negotiation for next state budget, Governor Gina Raimondo's pet project of free college tuition for Rhode Island residents. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado was at today's budget briefing and joins us live from the State House with more. House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello was briefing his other fellow House members as they will be expected to vote on this $9.2 billion budget this Thursday. There's obviously a lot in it to cover, including a scaled back version of the governor's free college tuition plan, which is generating a lot of buzz among students and parents. Kelly Slater is one of many rising high school seniors thinking about college. Everybody is. Everybody's looking at scholarships or thinking about financial aid and worrying about how they're going to pay for it. She's now seriously considering attending the Community College of Rhode Island when she graduates. Now that the General Assembly is expected to include free tuition for two years at CCRI in the budget. I've been considering like colleges in New York with musical theater and all that, but if I have free college right here, it kind of seems like a waste to not do that. The budget provision would require a 2.5 GPA, plus a pledge to stay in Rhode Island for two years after graduation. A community college is our institution that does a lot of our job training, so that is an ap appropriate place to do that, that type of program. CCRI will be tasked with forming the policy around the two-year pledge and how it will be enforced. A spokesman said, we are in the process of reviewing the details of the program and we are prepared to aggressively promote the Rhode Island promise to our state's new high school graduates in accordance with the program's requirements upon approval by the General Assembly. CCRI student Rain Jolliker says the new program is the talk of campus. I believe that education should be for everybody. It's a right, not a privilege. And just the fact that people are going to be able to have the opportunity to become more educated, it really brings out the best in Rhode Island. Now, both URI and Rhode Island College have expressed disappointment that they will not be included in the free college tuition program. Now, coming up new at 6, you'll hear from the Republican Party chairman on the budget and the free tuition plan. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. The Rhode Island House's planned vote on the proposed budget expected to happen on Thursday. This afternoon, lawmakers held a briefing on the budget, which contains, among other things, a minimum wage increase and a 50 cent increase on cigarettes. It does not, however, increase the income or sales tax. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado spoke to the head of the state Republican Party about the budget, including the free tuition proposal. She joins us now live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Steph. The state GOP has come out against the proposed budget. It's $9.2 billion. The House Speaker just briefing his House colleagues this afternoon on the details. They're expected to vote on it on Thursday. It includes the Speaker's car tax phase-out plan and a scaled-back version of the governor's free college tuition plan. The scaled back version of Governor Gina Raimondo's Rhode Island Promise Scholarship includes two free years at CCRI for Rhode Island high school graduates. It's great. You know, a lot of people end up with a ton of college debt, so any way you can get away from that is good. The proposal would require students have a 2.5 GPA and pledge to remain in Rhode Island for two years after graduation. The new bill does not include two years free at URI and Rhode Island College, which is what the governor wanted. And I'm actually looking at Rick, so going to CCRI first and then to Rick would be nice. Rhode Island College President Frank Sanchez telling Eyewitness News there is the potential for Rick to see a drop in enrollment if the promise only includes the community college. We need to improve access to an affordable four-year degree in Rhode Island. There is still some work needed in order to get this done. It's a bloated bogus budget. Rhode Island GOP Chairman Brandon Bell weighing in on the budget as well. He says he mostly supports Speaker Mattiello's car tax phase-out plan but is not supporting the free tuition plan. We don't need a, a new spending plan uh, when we have such a, a huge structural deficit. And just a reminder on how Speaker Maniello's car tax phase-out plan works. It provides for a cut to the car tax this year and for the next five years until it's totally gone. And so there's $26 million there in the budget for this year for the state to reimburse cities and towns for the lost revenue. Now, again, the House is expected to debate and vote on this budget on Thursday night. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.